What's up guys, it's x 2 rabby 2 x here, I'm back with some Minecraft modding made easy. And I think you're going to be pretty happy with me today, because... Oops. Yeah, because, um... This has been really anticipated, and a lot of people suggested this, and a lot of people... Oops, no, it's not what I just do. A lot of people wanted this, so... As you can probably see from the title, I will be doing, um... Trees. Now... This I'm gonna hate this tutorial. I just know I am, because um, it's it's a really long tutorial and there's a lot in the classes, so I'll try to explain as much as I can. But um, I don't know. Like I'll just give you all the code. Like you'll have the code, but it's like exactly what I don't want to do is just give you the code without really showing you how to do it. But I mean, I'll explain as much as I can. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the trees. And I made them spawn in the desert just for like debugging purposes, so they're easier to find and like whatever. So um, desert is actually a really good seed for a world because right when you turn around, oh, there's a desert, and here we have our blockium trees. Now you might notice that they're they're purple, and that is because everything that's that has a shade of green in it. So blue, which is our normal blockium color, has a shade of green. Um, that it it like everything that's a shade of green blends with the greens of the leaves so I don't know how to fix that yet but it's just a texture error I guess and I mean here we have our heart trees which is really awesome here are our leaves leaves now I didn't make any saplings yet just yet but they do drop nom noms sweet so I guess that's like the fruit but it's really like cookies but yeah, so that's how you drop fruit. Um, I know I'm just showing you how to, the trees right now. I'm not actually showing you the, how to code it. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is a tree. It's just a basic tree. It's just retextured, and it drops something else, and we make it generate. Now, yeah, like I said, I didn't make saplings yet. That's probably going to be my next thing is saplings and whatnot. So, let's go and look at our code. So, we're going to need to modify four classes in this, and we're going to need to modify our mod underscore class. Next, we're going to need to modify, make a new log, leaf, and a generating generating class. So, let's go right off the bat in our mod blockium. We are going to create a new block, blockium log, equals new blockium log. Now, just give this an ID. Don't give it anything else. The only parameter is the ID. And if we look in uh, block, where is the block? Blocks right here. If we search for log, we see all of these um, attributes. Now you can just go ahead and if you want it to be just like a normal log, copy and paste them right here, right after your your uh, ID declaration. So I'm going to do that, and what you're going to see is well, first of all, we're going to change this name to Blockium Log. But what we're going to see is that um, the sound is going to give you an error. It's going to be red. What you're going to want to do is just type in block dot, and then that's going to be fixed. So, I mean, there you go. You, you just made a log. Now, for the leaf, also make a block leaf, Blockium Leaf, new Blockium Leaf. Now, this one takes a ID and then a texture. Now, for the texture, you can just put a zero because we're going to give it a custom texture. Now, if we look in a block.java, leaves are right underneath the wood. Also, here you go. There's It gives you a bunch of attributes. You can go ahead and pop those right in here. And then also, there's a sound grass footstep. You're just going to want to put a block dot before it and change the name to blockium leaf or whatever your name is. So, yep, there's that. There's our declarations. Now, remember when we made our converter? And I showed you how to put different textures on different sides of the block. Well, um, we're going to make the same for log. Because you know the log from the top and bottom has a different view than from the sides. So go ahead and make an int named log bottom and log side. Or whatever you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Make sure this is outside of the class. This is all the declarations. <coughs> I mean, outside the method. All the declarations are outside of the constructor. They're just floating freely in the class, not in any method. So we're going to go down to our mod blockium next, our constructor. And here is our logs. 
So since we are working with blocks, you want to go ahead and register that block. So model to that register block, and just put in blocking log. Next, you want to give it a name. So blocking log, I just gave blocking logs as a name. Now, next thing you want to do is the same as we did with the converter up here. You see, like this up here. So you're going to do log bottom equals model loader dot add override. So you're going to override it to be a your whatever your texture you want. Now let's go ahead. I'll show you my textures. Uh, Eclipse client bin. Uh, where is it? Uh, blocking log bottom. I basically just took a normal log and filled in the squares. So that's how my log looks like. Um, blocking log side. This is what my side looks like. It's basically a log, and I added some little crystal-looking things inside of the inside of the log. You can do whatever you want. Next, I'll show you while I'm here. I'll just show you blocking leaf. I just took the leaf texture and retextured it. Now, again, you might have saw that the uh, um, leaves in the game are purple, like they're red. Um, they're like a darker red black and purple this is because uh, leaves like they multiply color because like all leaves in Minecraft are a shade of green so you're gonna get this multiplied by green which is yeah whatever so you're never gonna get the color that you made the texture but you can still like yeah you, you, you'll just figure it out whatever so that's my leaf I don't think I had any other uh, textures so uh, yeah, you're going to want to do the log bottom. You want to override it to be the log bottom.png and the log side to be the log side.png. Next, since we're done with the logs, we're going to go look at leaves. And what you want to do for the leaves is you want to go ahead and register the block, add a name, block him leaves. Um, and for this one, there's only one texture because it looks the same from all sides. So you're just gonna do blockium leaf dot block index in texture and you're gonna override that to be your texture blockium leaf. So now that's all the declarations we have. Um, I'll show you your generation at the end. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's exit out of that. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make your log class. Now to do this, I'll uh, just go to block and find block log right here and you're just gonna want to copy and paste this you should just copy this and create a new class called blockium log or block blockium log or whatever you want to name it make sure it extends block and just paste it in here now I have everything pasted in here I have something already commented out so we'll go over that first of all when you put copy and paste don't forget to change the name of the class and the constructor from block log to new block, whatever you want to name it. Now, next thing you're going to see in uh, the constructor, you're going to have a block index and texture equals 20. You can go ahead and comment that out. That pretty much just like changes the texture and sets the base texture. And since we're using a custom one, you don't need that. So just go ahead and comment that out. Quantity dropped, we already worked with this also. It's how many logs you want dropped um, when you punch it or when you cut it down. Stick to one like a normal tree. You can set it up to like a 64 if you want a full stack of wood every time you cut down one log. ID dropped. Now, this is where we want to give it our own block. Ah, block. That was weird. Um, so, what you're going to do this was, I think, return block.log.blockid. You're going to want to just type in mod block em or whatever you want, whatever your class name is, whatever your variable name is. Mine's block em log and then block id. We've worked with this before, you know, it's it's not that new. Now everything else, harvest block, you're gonna keep the same. On block removal, you're gonna there's one on and in the source code, I'm keeping all these comments in. So everywhere where you see a bunch of like backslashes, that means you just have to change change it from um block leaf dot block ID into like block blockium leaf dot block ID or log in the blockium log. You know, it's just one of those. So you just have to switch them out. Now this you're gonna want to <coughs> you're gonna want to put a leaf in here, so I'm just gonna type leaf so you don't put accidentally put a log in there. Now this get block texture from side and metadata. Uh, we already did this in our container and no in our um, block block um, converter. And it's pretty much this, like it's how it looks from each side. 
Now, if you have this class, or you probably maybe don't, I don't know. You should download the source code and get this if you want to. If you don't want to type this out, but like here, I passed in an X and then did it X. But on the the base, like the the default one, if you copy and paste it, is just I and J. Now J, you don't have to really worry about. That just keep the J all like on the bottom here. Just keep that how it is. Now on top of J, you will see. Um, let me actually block log. So you're gonna see these. This pretty much means like oh the top and sides, whatever. This is pretty much the top and bottom, and then the sides are already like defaulted. So they did it kind of differently, but we'll just override that. So you can go ahead and delete these two from your class. And in our class, you're going to want to put a bunch of if statements. So you're going to do like if i equals 0 or if i equals 1, you're going to want to do a um you want to return the log bottom because the log bottom and top look exactly the same. I think this is the top, this is the bottom or maybe other way around. But basically <coughs> Well, 0 and 1 are top and bottom. So just make sure you know that. Do the same for 2, 3, 4, and 5. But all those are the four sides. So you're going to set that to, instead of returning mod blocking.log bottom, you're going to return log side. Now that's the int that we made and overrid in our mod blocking Java class. So you should know how to work with this if you follow my other tutorial. And the next uh, damage route, it's this doesn't matter. Let's just keep it the same. So, all right. So we have our block blocking log done. Let's move on to the leaf.